Well, nice to have you come and, and share this experience with us, Mr. Cordette. Do you remember when you joined Singerly Fire Company? Uh, I, I think 1943 or 44, I'm not sure exactly, but either probably late 1943 or early 1944. So it's pretty close there. Yeah. And were you a probationary member? Or? We were what was considered, as I recall, probably auxiliary members. Uh -huh. I don't think we had probation members back then. Do you remember why you joined the company? Something to do, excitement. <laughs> Give back I, to the community? Yeah, the, uh, I think, I, I'm trying to think of when the, uh, I, I was a fairly new member, I think, when they had the Triumph explosive, the explosion, the Triumph fireworks plant. Uh -huh. But uh, but my memory is sort of vague, and I have no remember how long I've been a member at that particular time. But uh, uh, it was I, I was a member prior to that. And you were I was up on Singerly Road here. Uh, would be no, uh, it would be uh, Blue Ball Road. Blue Ball Road. Yeah. yeah. Back up the Blue Ball Road. Yeah, also. we were. Who uh, uh, on the. Uh, I try to remember the, what the road runs between Singerly and uh, Dogwood. Yeah, Do Dogwood Road. Yeah, so it was across uh, Blue Ball Road at Dogwood. Did Did you respond to that? I yeah, guess, as, yeah. A, as a young firefighter. Yeah, or, yeah. Or were you on the ambulance? Or no, I don't. Well, they had an ambulance at the time. I don't recall one, but uh, we went by uh, uh, vehicle. As a matter of fact, because I was in school, and we could leave school and go to fires and so forth. And I was in high school, and uh, we went by some vehicle. And we came to the firehouse, and we traveled in somebody's car up there. You the stopped trucks. by and got your gear and went up there. Yeah, the trucks had already left and so forth when uh, when we got to the firehouse from school, and uh, we just were transported up there, and that was it. With the Do you remember anything significant about that while you on that call? Otherwise, it was sort of nasty up there. That was my first experience looking at bodies and so forth, but. Uh, uh, I do anything you know beyond that. It just they were they were bodies and so forth. Uh -huh. there. Of course, the uh, buildings were blown apart and there's debris all over the place. But uh, do you remember how many people got killed? No, I don't. Don't. Do you have any relatives or, or friends that were members? Do you recall any of those, or do you have any? Uh, well, I can know several members, several friends of mine that were also in the same status that I was in. Uh, and I, used, I don't know how many of them were, see back then I don't know who was signed up as members, but the, who fought fires, it was probably, I remember probably, I don't know, six or eight. Do you remember their names? Uh, one like Leonard Gansman, uh, was Francis Coyle, it was Sonny Coyle, Dick Spence, Jim Blanton, uh, Raymond Gregg, uh, That's pretty good. You you, yeah. you zinged <laughs> off quite a few there. Yeah, that's probably about as good as it's going to get there. <laughs> Do you remember who was president when you, when you came no. in or around no. that era? No, it, I, it was oddly enough, it didn't make any difference. I don't think Take at the guess. time we didn't really care and so forth. You just you did it. I don't even remember anything regarding the anything other than the chiefs and so forth and like members. Uh, uh, I knew some of the drivers, uh, and of course, coming coming up with names I have problems with, but uh, I don't remember any anything about the board of directors. I know nothing about. You were too far down on the, <laughs> yeah. on the, on the packing boat. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have much of a status. <laughs> <laughs> How about the chief? Do you recall who might have been the chief? You know, Atkinson. Atkinson. Yeah, he he was the chief during most of my uh, time. I went in service. I think he was probably chief when I went in the military. But I left, went in the military in the, what, uh, early 45, early, late 44, early 45. And you went into the Navy? Yeah. I bet that was an experience. Yeah. <laughs> Were you ever an officer or a committee chairperson? Well, during my career, I was, uh, uh, what, I was... Uh, in the fire company? Yeah. I was, what, uh, the, the room committee... I think it was, I was a lieutenant, as assistant chief, of course a deputy chief, and ambulance director, an assistant ambulance director, and that probably is about it. Board of directors? Yeah, yeah, board of directors, yeah. 
And uh, I'm, I don't know if you're on any committees now or not. No. You're just no. semi-retired. I'm, I'm a hazmat. Okay. Uh, I guess those were during your early years, or do you remember about what time frame that was? What's and that? You were like a board of director or analyst chief, I think. Uh, I was on the board when we built this station. This station? Yeah, yeah when we built this, I was on the board of directors. Yeah, yeah. Up and hit around that time. Yeah, I'd been, uh, <clears throat> I was an ambulance director for a few years, but that was, of course, the old station. Station and 3, when, yes. Yeah, we came up here and uh, I was uh, deputy chief of three when we opened this station up here. And I think uh, Hampton Scott was a deputy chief here, I believe. And did you start the, uh, the, the ambulance night? call program or did, did I remember that you, uh, you I don't know I didn't start it uh, I, uh, I, try, I really I guess I'm probably, you might say I tried to organize at least I, I tried to set it up to where we had, had a limited time between a call and we had problems with people living close enough you know which I spent a lot of night nights on night call and also I was uh, on an automatic morning call they really had to because people had to go to work and I was self-employed so I was automatically on the morning call for really around a year round from I think six to nine or something we had to, to, that call but uh, the uh, night uh, as far as I know the night ambulance crews were, pre were set under probably Jack Fears okay. Because I, I remember being on some, and I remember yeah. you being on yeah. some, you know. And I guess what it started from like 10 p.m. until yeah. 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess you usually had a crew of three. Uh, two. Two. Yeah. I had a driver and an aide. Yeah. And a driver. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What was your most memorable moment in the company? Did Did you have one or several or? I mean, I decided to take a leave of absence. <laughs> That's pretty memorable. <laughs> I'm sure you have a few stories. I don't know if you want to, you know, expand on any of them. Most, most of the stories I remember are not, uh, well, a lot of pleasant things, but the things is, I guess, probably the most things are the unpleasant, which I really don't want to discuss anyway. Well, that's, which that's is your option. The calls and the various things. Not uh, my, uh, uh, as far as the fire company is concerned, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it or I wouldn't have been here. You know, you enjoyed the work and getting the job done. Uh, unfortunately, I, I probably, uh, I don't know, I disagreed with a lot of the, uh, I still, I guess, with the uh, business of uh, prestige involved. I always figured out you're here to do a job and and that's what, what you, that's the rewards is doing the job more so than the, yes. the pre the, what you might gain from it. <laughs> You're not here for personal gain. No. You're here to give to the community. So what's what's the biggest change during your years here singularly have you noticed? You mean over a period of years? Yeah, over, <coughs> yeah, over your tenure of being well, here for I, 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 several it's years. It's changed so much and I always look back and I said it would have been awfully nice had we had the equipment Back then, back, but we didn't even have Scott Air Packs, you know, in the early days. And when you did get them, you had maybe two on the on the, the seat of the, so nobody ever wore them. And uh, of course, I used to say I was bad. I was a smoker because I could walk into a burning building, and it didn't. It did, it really wasn't any worse, you know. <laughs> yep. I mean, you came along when they were called back steppers. Everybody rode the back step. Yep. And yep. No windshields yep. and no harnesses. Yep. You held on, nothing. and, and uh, now nowadays, you know, everybody rides inside, yep. and they're seat belted in. And <laughs> it has changed quite a lot. But, uh, I don't know if you have any stories or anything else you would like to add. I really can't think of anything offhand. Uh, most most of the stories I have probably wouldn't anybody want to listen to anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you were involved in the train wreck out on 40. That was, yeah, a, that yeah, was a big. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you remember anything about that? Uh, yes. Uh, what I guess one of the classics, I guess, is the fact that uh, we were. Uh, I think Stevie Foster and I was out there. We had uh, hoses 
you know, line set up there uh -huh. and was deluge on, on the, uh, in fact, when we first got out there, I was on the first truck that got there, and the, uh, when the one, one of the uh, tanks blew, it blew one of the lids up in the air like a frisbee. Oh, wow. And of course, a bunch of firemen headed for that low place between Route 40 and, the, and, and for cover. the little little valley in there between the Route, Route 40 highway to get where it was low. And uh, of course, when we started getting trucks in there and started putting water on it, but uh, we were there for several days. And uh, uh, one night, Stevie Foster and I were there, and uh, it was wee hours the night. And Stevie went up in, 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 the, in the rescue truck in '71. To, to, uh, to get a nap. So I was out checking the lines. We tied one of the two and a half inch lines up to a guardrail. Well, water and so forth from the nozzle was leaking down, leaking down, leaking down, and it softened one of the posts. Oh. And the line was coming loose up there and so forth, and we didn't have any communications. And I remember trying to hold that two and a half inch line, and I had no way of getting a hold of Stevie up in the truck. <laughs> And finally I got it lashed out enough where I could run up and get Stevie woke up to where he could come down and help me uh, retie the line. But that is probably about the most, uh, most exciting part of the whole thing. Except uh, one of the fellows that uh, we had uh, one of the truck pumping down on the landing lane and one of the uh, uh, people from out at the WSCR radio station, one of these hyper individuals out there, was not happy with having to wait to get guided across. We had a, the ramp across the hose, and we had a uh, fellow directing traffic across that. Well, he, of course, this important fellow from WSCR was too important to wait in line, and he got up on top of the ramp across the hose and gassed it and it kicked the ramp up and knocked the bottom out of his gas tank. Oh no! <laughs> and our pumper is tied up. We have, we have problems. We got lines running up to the scene. And we don't have anything there to protect the, for the gasoline. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and of course we had one unhappy guy from WSER. Because I thought it was funny myself, because <laughs> I didn't like the guy anyway. So, oh, my. <laughs> so his car was disabled. Huh? Yeah. Oh. And so then I guess you had to clean up the fuel? Yep. Wow. Well, luckily you didn't have another accident. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate and, and thank you for coming in. And I don't know if you have anything else you'd like to add. That's probably about it. I could just, uh, I've sat here for an hour and a half and discussed foolishness about it. Well, that's, well, we're here to do it. So if you like to. No, that's stand. probably about it. That covers pretty much. Uh, my memories actually were, of course, uh, occasionally things will come to me, but for the most part, my memory is failing very quick. <laughs> okay, well, thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs>